We like to think that we live in a world without limits. Like Formula One racing drivers, humankind is always trying to achieve ever more. But our world does have limits. There really is a top speed that cars can achieve before they begin to fly. Practically, as well as philosophically, everything is defined by limits. A house is bound by walls and a roof. That's the limits of its physical presence. The hulls of boats, even paper ones, are designed to limit the effects of whatever lies outside. These are not natural limits, however. They're artificial ones, man-made. The difference between man-made limits and natural limits is that they're changeable. We can knock down houses. We can break glass. Being able to do this, though, makes us think that we can change the limits of nature, too. We think we can control nature. Just because we can take energy from the wind and split atoms into their tiniest components. But these achievements are really rather modest. When we capture energy from the wind, we simply change what's already there. And when we split atoms, we're really just looking inside. When it comes to nature, there's so much we don't understand. We don't even know what consciousness really is. We haven't explored the oceans, which is the biggest part of our planet. And we don't know what makes up more than 80% of the universe. We don't understand nature. That's why we think that melting ice caps, record temperatures and receding lakes are just warning signs. They're not. When a hurricane forms, there's nothing that anyone can do to stop the process. We can only wait and see what damage it unleashes. And it's the same with climate change. The changes that we've unleashed on our planet are already unstoppable, certainly within any time frame that you or I can understand. The effects of our pumping large amounts of carbon into the atmosphere are becoming clear, and it will take hundreds of years before the effects have passed. We can't survive without this planet. There's no other place in the universe, as far as we know, where the acidity of the oceans and the gases in the atmosphere are exactly as creatures like us require. We know too that an average temperature rise of even a few degrees will change all this. We've set a process in motion. Now we must do everything we can to stop that process, and quickly.